Right, so we have arrived at All Threads Embroidery. Um, we're going to head inside and we're going to have a bit of a rummage in. And you're probably wondering who I'm talking about. Well, say hi to Tia. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we are, you can see there's like a classroom upstairs. We've never been here before, so this is the first time. And we're going to walk into the store and we're going to have a bit of a rummage around. As you first walk in, you've got all your threads and your hoops, and we've got rid of that noisy lawnmower. Sorry about that. And we've got all our baskets down here. And this is just everything that you can see fabric, pearl bags. Fancy, fancy flosses, glittery ones. That's the chronic. Nice. Not working with it though. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody. Yes. This is Tia from Hello. Calm Creations. <laughs> I'm Nicole from Devanali Designs, and we're at All Threads Embroidery. Yep. So, as you can see, we've walked in the door and plonked ourselves on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, so, we're actually just going to do this as sort of like vlog style today. So, at the moment, we are looking through the baskets at all the different cross stitch. I've already found a ton of stuff and then I have to make a decision whether I'm going to purchase or not. So, yes. how are you going, Tia? Yes, I found a couple of things that I'm eyeing up that I'd like. So, there's just so much to look at. So, we've actually just sat on the floor. That's the entrance. <laughs> And we're here on the floor so there is so much to look at so basically what we're going to do this is sort of our intro for today and then we're just going to take footage from around um, the store we've got the store's owner um, the owner her permission to do that but we just have to wait till there's no customers in so it might be a little bit sporadic but we'll try and have a look at everything that's in here so we sort of came in and went our separate way like looked at all the thread and then we sort of went our separate ways and apparently down the back of the shop there's some Nora Corbett Nora Corbett Mabelia, um, long dog samplers there's tons of stuff awesome awesome so we have got a lot to look at so where we're perched right now we are looking at Plum Street samplers um, so you can see them <laughs> we're rummaging We'll put the shop back, we promise. <laughs> um, and behind us, you can see some threads and stuff like that. But we're just going through the baskets at the moment. So, um, yeah, looking at all the patterns. And we're going to do a another video together. And we'll show you our haul and everything once we're finished shopping for the day. All right, so we're going to go and keep looking around and take some footage and show you what this shop's all about. Amazing. Look at all those hoops. Look at all those hoops. Look at all those fabrics. <laughs> So there's embroidery and cross stitch patterns all here. Yeah, fabric. Our fabric. Awesome. Got to have a bit of a look through that too. There's some hand embroidery stuff. Classic colour works. DMC. Cottage garden threads. This is one I wasn't familiar with. It's a gum nut threads and it has wool and also sorry I didn't get you hun. <laughs> silk. And then we've got what's this one? It's a wool. It's a wool. Tapestry stuff. We've got some rayons. We've got all those Look at all that eye candy. It's on a roll. Just an amazing array of colours. And there's all different brands here as well, which is fabulous. We've got some stranded silk by Cascade House. And then there's some cruel wool over there. I don't know if I ever say that right. Is it cruel or cruel? Like jewel? It's, yeah, cruel. Yeah. 
So correct me if I'm wrong down below. <laughs> Some more DMC. You can see there's just tons and tons of stuff. We've got some Weeks Dye Works. What's Tia found? Her anchor. Oh, she's found her anchor. Is the colour there that you need? Yeah, there's finishing stuff, so ribbons and all that sort of stuff as well. Got an array of books. So much information here. Madeira threads. Some samples up. Are they the right anchors though? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. So what colour are you looking for? It's 48, it's a pink. Okay. But it's yeah. softer than that. Is so, it? Yeah. So. What's that pink there? 879. It's not a rayon, it's a cotton. Oh, okay. Sort of that colour. Yep. Alright. What else have we got over here? We've got some beautiful silk threads here. The colours are just amazing. This is my favourite. Although it is a lot darker in person. Yeah. Who's that one by? Yeah. Oh, there's our Gloriana. We'll get mentioned a bit. How's these? These are South African threads here. They're called Chameleon. Look at that colour palette. Isn't that beautiful? What do you reckon of that one? Yeah, isn't that beautiful? It's so dainty. Mm -hmm. So they're made in South Africa, those ones. <laughs> what you find down here? Madeira mm. variegated. Yeah, they've got a few of those. Look at all that there. So mm. all the Madeira threads in there. So I really like, I used to use a lot of Madeira threads when I first started doing embroidery. And I liked it because you didn't have to bobinate. You could just leave them in the packet. And see yeah. that tiny little hole there? Yeah. Get that closer? Yeah. That's where your thread <laughs> comes out of. So you didn't have to worry about bobbinating them and you could just have them stuck in really nicely. So and they all come like that. So, and then you've got your stretcher bars, stretch frame, little frames, and you've got your Q snaps, and then you've got creative threads, mix and match. Oh that must be like finishing things. Oh look I'm here wrecking the place. So they're creative threads ones, and you've got your silk ribbons. Tia's found something. Oh yeah, that's the what we're supposed to, but yeah, see, so eighty dollars. Yeah, that's what's supposed to go for that pin cushion. You got cruel twists and stuff like that. You got little bags and all this stuff, everything. It's just a hand embroidery and cross stitches heaven. Mm -hmm. oh, who's that by? Me ten dollars. I can say. It's cute. <laughs> Yarn tree. Okay. Four metal cartons. <laughs> We've got more threads up here as well. Oh, got beads. I've just crashed. Yeah, beads. Those beads. You've got some pre-wound bobbins. Got some water lilies. Now, I had never heard of water lilies until the other day. Someone was talking about it. I think it was two martini stitcher. Oh, yeah. Water lily threads. Yeah. Oh. Look at those colours. Oh, my goodness. Got more threads going up the stairs. We're just trying to avoid customers at the moment. So, so much in here. All right. That's the quick tour. And we will do some more filming and, yeah, show you what we find. So, Tia, have you found anything? I have. I've got a few little treasures here, which you'll have to wait and see. see. Yep. So, what's your opinion of the shop? Love it. Yes, could stay here for hours. Yeah, we could be here for hours and hours, but we're not going to be here for hours and hours. So you can see how big it is. It's not huge. And it, if, when you come into the street, um, there is ample parking out the front. Sorry about the wobble there. There is ample parking out the front and... It looks like a house and it's between two shops. Yep. There's a shop on the corner and then there's a shop on that side. And basically it's like a two-story house in between. So lots of parking, a street parking out the front. And we're in Brisbane. Yeah, and we're in <laughs> Brisbane. So um, 
and on Saturday we're here on a Saturday morning and they're open from 9 to 12 on a Saturday and it looks like that's here I might be looking at getting a mirror earlier oh, she doesn't know you need to help her make the decision <laughs> Yeah. She might have to shop on the website. Yeah, but it's just so nice seeing them. Yeah. So what have we got there? Like, there's a ton of them. You see, she's she keeps going back to them. So these are all the beads that they used to. So I'll just turn around and you can see there's a wall of Mill Hill beads. Um, there's just so much here to look at. So yeah. So what's it on? 32. You do it on later. Yeah. Mm. So that's telling you how big it needs to be there. That's good. It tells you you don't have to work it out. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to keep looking. <laughs> See what else we can find. We just found a whole heap of little minders. So we've got Hippie Hop. That goes with hands on designs. Easter one from the Zappy Chalkful dots. series. Zappy Dots, yeah. Some spiders. And that one. Looks like chocolate. It does fit. <laughs> There's these ones. Awesome. Add some of the samples. I've got a pattern, um, Good Intentions, and I've got a box similar to this. I think I talked about it on one of my floss tubes, mm. and I want to do mm. that. It's stunning. So it looks, at the moment, looks like that, yeah. but with wood at the back, so. What's that? I don't know, it's got a needle minder in it. Magnetic scissors zingers. Yeah. Yeah. Zingers, all right. <laughs> I've got one at the long arm machine. I had to take it off me because I've got myself so much. <laughs> Three drops. Bobbins. There's a punch needle one there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's <laughs> bad. I blood today. Oh, really? Yeah, I found some on my hoop. I was like, oh, where did that come from? <laughs> Three, four, seven, three, seven, and there's seven, seven, eight. 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 Yeah. Nice. Mm. It's the blues range. Mm. It's a bit too. It's got a lot of finishing stuff in it. Mm. Some yeah, Christmas. So we got some long dark samplers around the world. Mystic and fairies, mirabilias, all the Nora Cobbets. We've got Mill Hill beads, miscellaneous, flowers, alphabets, verses, animals, fish. That's different. Hmm? I'm going to try one. Hmm? fish. I've never done a mirror earlier. No, me either. I'm going to try one. They're big. Mm hmm Ink circles, I can see hiding behind there. What yes. else we got? Yeah. Got long dogs. Long dogs. Ink circles. I think yeah. Roller Deck Stitches is doing that one. Oh, is that the one she's doing? I think that's the one. Shards. 
Taurus flowers. Oh, that's cool. Arranging sewing kit. Arranging the sewing kit. Cool. Rosewood Manor. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah. awesome. Rosewood Manor's got some awesome charts. Yeah. Oh, balancing. Yeah, there's all different ones in the back there. All sort of flowers. It's a little treasure trove, isn't it? I'm sure you'll find something that you're looking for. It's cute. What's that one? Wow. Hands across the sea samples. I'm part of their group. I'm on the Facebook group with them. Cool. Okay, so I'm here with Karen and I didn't catch your name. Sophia. Sophia, I hope you don't mind. No, yeah, yeah fine. Okay. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions. So how long have you been here for? Uh, since 2005. Okay, and you've also got a website as well, so people that aren't local to the Brisbane area Definitely. can hit your website. And sure. is everything on your website? Yes, yep. it is. Yes. Awesome. So we've been walking around today and Karen was telling us about these cute little mice a little bit earlier because I've... I'll tell you now, I'm purchasing some. <laughs> this is, see how small they are? That's them made. And you were saying that when you first do them, they're a little bit... They're a little bit fiddly yep. because you, the pattern just, there's quite a lot of colour changes and so it's just getting the pattern right. But once you've done one, they're very simple. And the pattern for the design, the designs change, but they usually the shape is about the same. So once you've done one, stitching them up is absolutely no problem. And... Yep. I've done quite a lot it's of them now. Yeah. <laughs> Very addictive. Um, I can stitch them up in two nights and sew them in one night. <laughs> awesome. That, well, that's good to know. So once you get used to it, you can really, because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people asking about them when they see me doing yeah. it. Um, and how long have you, do you do all sorts of needlework? Or are yes, you just, I have. Yep. Yes, I do. And what's your most favourite? Probably cruel embroidery. So if that's something I want to try. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and do you do uh, embroidery? I'm just doing cross stitch at the moment. Yeah. But wanting to learn a bit more embroidery this year. So awesome. Yeah. And how long have you worked here for? Um, I've worked here for two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's a great place to work. Yeah. It's awesome. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> do you just hand your pay back? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> And so um, you have all types of needlework in your shop? All sorts of needlework yep. here in the shop. Um, we cater for, we try and cater for everything to make it a one-stop shop for yep. customers. Awesome. So they don't have to go from this shop to another shop to another shop to another shop. But yep. it's all hand embroidery products. So yep. we haven't specialised, you know, we don't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just solely for hand embroidery, cross-stitch needlepoint, wool embroidery, wool awesome. embroidery. Um, gold work, stump work. <laughs> All stuff that I want to do. <laughs> we took some footage of some of your samples around. Have you done all these samples? Um, or? Most of them I have. Some of the suppliers have given us some of them as yep. well, but the, the vast majority of them. Awesome. Your work is done stunning. Them. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I've pointed out that you've got a lot of um, fabrics and all that sort of stuff, so we you've do. got everything that you would yes. need for the different types? Absolutely. And okay. we, you know, I source a lot from. I try and source what I can here in Australia, but as well as that, um, I get a, I import a lot of products from Europe and also from America, from South Africa, yep. um, from Canada. We have kits from all over the world. Wow. Um, in two weeks, I go to Nashville to the. Oh, oh, so I've go. got goosebumps. <laughs> and um, then in four weeks, I go to Germany to a trade fair to get fabrics. Awesome! Um, wow. So, I did notice that you had some weeks weeks dye works fabrics down there. I'm going to rummage yes. and, uh, through them in, <laughs> in a minute. Just as I stood up and went, oh, I see that name because yeah. I like weeks. So we have a lot of we have over dyes from yep. weeks, um, and also from we get lakeside linens, um, uh, Piculus Plus. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, the ones yeah. that are the popular. The, the popular the ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do a lot of primitive 
um, cross stitch so that all those names that you just yeah. mentioned then are usually the recommended fabrics and stuff so that's really good to know. So we get those in if we don't have something in stock because they have big ranges and they've got lots of counts in each colour yep. and so we can we, we order regularly mm -hmm. so we can always get in something that's there. Yep. On the website um, the way the website's been set it's just the way the website is set up it's by the meter but we sell fat quarters yep. um, and it's just an email you know we, we haven't listed them on as fat quarters because yeah. that's a bit, you know not everybody wants a fat quarter they, want, exactly right, they yeah. might want 30 centimeters or 20 centimeters um so we just say if you want smaller cuts of any of the fabrics just that a simple phone call, call. Yeah. Yep. or an email and we can do that that's awesome. no problem. well that's another good thing to know a lot of people probably wouldn't realize that going to your website saying yes. that just made them well, that's a bit too much to get but yeah, exactly a phone and call and and you're yeah. all sorted so. yeah, especially with some of the more expensive um, linens, you know, yep. some of the overdyes can bring them in from the states. They are expensive, yeah. so not everybody wants a whole meter, but we do cut them into smaller, awesome. into smaller quantities. Awesome. Um, is there anything else that your customers that are shopping online or coming to the area should know about this? Um, about your shop? The only well, there's a bus stop right at the front, so it's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so it's accessible from the city and from South Bank by bus. Yep. Um, and then the bus leaves across the road to go back in that mm -hmm. direction. Um, the other thing is probably if somebody is wanting just a couple of threads, the website calculates postage based on it going into a Australia Post satchel. Mm -hmm. So, Stock up. Some well, so <laughs> sometimes if you only want one or two threads, it's better to give us a phone call yep. and then we can put it in an envelope and it's a little bit cheaper to post. Whereas if you do order it online, right. then unfortunately yeah, you're the paying postage that. is whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. That's um, right. That's but you know, something okay. that if we, you, it might be a ball of thread, and if it's a pearl ball, it won't fit through the envelope slot, no. so it has to go no, as a parcel, parcel. Whereas your stranded thread, thread or yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's best. Well, that's that's another thing, a good thing to know because a lot of people do bulk at postage and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Excellent. And most things we can get in if we don't have them in stock, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm ordering all the time from all manner of suppliers yep. everywhere. I can usually source something within a short time if it's um, yeah, if somebody's after something we don't have at that time. Oh, yeah. like awesome. So you, you're constantly ordering and every updating week I and always. Yeah. Every week I order. I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. Yeah. So yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much for allowing oh, us to film amazing. around your shop today and thank you for talking to us. And that is a really good point for people that are shopping online. Um, that, that they can give you a call and, and you'll be able to help them out. Yeah, and there's a building up. So, we'll, yeah. Yeah. Right. so thank you very much, thank Karen, you. for your time. Okay. Thank it's you. <laughs> okay, so two hours and 15 minutes, we emerged from all embroidery threads. So we've got our bag of goodies. You'll have to wait to see what we got. And it's very bright out here after walking. And you can see my, my glasses are starting to transition as well, so I'm going incognito. But it's such a beautiful shop, it's in a beautiful area of Brisbane, and as you heard, the bus stops out the front, so if you don't have transport and you're just visiting the area, you can definitely just come and have a look. So I hope that you enjoyed that little tour and the little chat from Karen and her associate, and we'll see you next time. Bye!